Hey guys, what's up? It's Jay. Today we are going to talk about a hi-fi rack that I built. Those of you who may not know, hi-fi is high fidelity. I've been collecting some vintage gear lately from the 70s, uh, mostly silver face stuff, old receivers, tape decks, uh, CD player, equalizer, stuff like that. Uh, well, C not CD player from the 70s, but uh, today we're going to explain how I built my hi-fi rack. It was all from the box store. It's done on the cheap and it's very easy to put together and uh, we're going to explain it today how I put it together and what you need to get started. Hopefully it'll help you out if any of you guys are into hi-fi or vintage gear. Uh, I mean you could even use it for video games or anything like that. So we're going to explain how I built it. All right. Well without further ado, let's get to it. All right guys, so box store item list, you're gonna need uh, one 10 foot length of half inch copper. You're gonna need, depending on how many shelves you want, two, two foot by four foot. Uh, I used half inch plywood. You could use three quarter if you want. You could make boards out of three quarter material if you want gonna need about 40 I'm gonna count and get you the exact number um, nuts and the threaded rod that I used was half inch I don't remember the thread pitch and you're gonna need four threaded rods and a bunch of washers. We're gonna say 40 of those as well. And those again are happening. Those um, make it nice to support the shelves. And what I used for, I stained mine, so stain is optional. You could paint it. And then I just used a black magic marker to make the border on the plywood so where your rough edge is I sanded that down and just colored this in with a fat uh, black magic marker and we'll get we'll bring some pictures up on the screen to show you that so basically um, I'm just going to explain how to do it it's real straightforward you get your four threaded rods probably not drawing this in perspective that well and you're gonna to wanna to put a washer and a nut on the bottom of each. Let me draw this bigger. And this will, it's super easy to put together, but it does take time because you have to thread the nut all the way down 36 inches of threaded rod. So it does take a while. And then what I did is I put two on the bottom, two nuts, so I could adjust the height of the bottom foot. Once you get, and these you can thread from the bottom, obviously, you don't need to thread them all the way down. Or you could thread maybe halfway up for wherever you want your shelves. You'll have to measure your equipment first and figure out how you want your shelves. So it was two nuts and a washer, then my layer of plywood, then another washer, and another nut. Now, clamps the shelf in place. And then, depending on your measurement here, your next shelf would be almost the same order. You have a nut, your washer, and your layer of plywood. And then a washer, and a nut. What I did in mine is before I put this shelf on, or these nuts for a matter of fact, I cut, I figured out what height I wanted my shelves, and I cut copper sleeve, that's where your copper pipe comes in, to cover this threaded rod here. So I gave it sort of a, maybe like a steampunk look. It's pretty cool and you don't see the threaded rod. I have seen some high-end racks that are pretty sweet that they paint the threaded rod and the nuts and the washers black, which is also a really cool look. So you could do that as well, save the money on the copper. And then you just 
And the beauty of this system is you can adjust your shelves to any height you want because the threaded rod was three foot long. So my bottom shelf that you'll also see in the pictures is a bit higher to clear my subwoofer. And then each of the divisions of the shelf, I think are about six inches for some of the older vintage gear. So that's really it. And the, my other thing that I wanted to do is I wanted to put an acorn nut on top, um, but I was having trouble finding those acorn nuts for whatever reason. That's the basic idea of the hi-fi rack. And you can, I have seen where some people have actually shaped the shelves kind of cool. So they give it like little wings, they call it like a dog bone look. and then your threaded rod would be here in the corners. I just made mine square, right? And then when you get your plywood, when you cut your plywood for the size you want for your shelves, clamp them all together and then drill your holes all at once. That way they line up perfect and you're not fighting with the threaded rod going back and forth. Makes it a, a bit easier. I drilled my holes a little too tight you might want to go with about a 5 8 hole. I think I did half inch or maybe 9 16 And I did fight with the shelf a little bit because the threaded rod is pretty coarse. So the smaller, you know, you don't want a half inch hole per se. Uh, you can go a little bigger than that to make sliding the shelf down the rod a little bit easier. guys well i hope that gave you some good ideas to build your own shelf system whether it be hi-fi or video games or books or whatever uh, you can do it on the cheap i think all said and done my material was about 110 120 dollars so you don't really need to spend a fortune to have a cool looking rack and you can customize it any way you want you can paint it different kinds of wood you know different color stains whatever you don't have to use the copper um, you'd probably save about 20 bucks if you didn't but yeah, it's pretty easy to put together. If you guys have any questions, uh, leave them below in the comments. And if you guys are new to our channel, please stick around, subscribe, and uh, don't forget to smash that like button and uh, ring the bell that lets you know when we drop new videos. So until next time, guys, always create.